Hello Tree Church kids and Tree Church parents. It's so good to be with you. Here we are already in the month of August. Can you believe that? All right, we have a great lesson for you today. We're gonna to talk about being generous, generosity. And I know that so many people here at the Tree Church have such generous hearts and I love that. So we're just gonna talk about what that looks like and how God wants us to be generous in our everyday lives. We're gonna have a great story about a widow who gave all that she had. We're gonna play a fun game, then stick around for some great prayer time at the close. guys. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Here we go. Good evening, I'm Stan Gathered live from 4th and Main Street, where just down the street the church has taken up their offering. But today we've learned that someone has given all they have to the church. It's reported that Jesus of Nazareth was on the steps of the church talking with his disciples. This is what our on-the-scene reporter Bonnie Chang heard him say. She gave the best gift. She gave all she had, unquote. Incredible. Unfortunately, that is all our reporter was able to hear. We can't get close to the church at this point because of the crowds and the area is blocked off. But we are hoping we'll be able to find this person that gave all she had to the church and find out why. Here comes someone now. Excuse me, miss, miss. We were wondering about your offering to the church. So glad you heard about this. I gave my beautiful boat worth thousands to the church so they could use it as much as they want or sell it and give it to the poor. It was very generous of me. Wow. You heard it here first, folks. This fine lady has given everything she has to God. No. Not everything I have. I still have lots more stuff and money, but it was a very generous offering. I'm sure it was. Well, we have another dead end, folks, but we're going to continue to wait for more people to come down the street and see if we can find this person that has given all they have to God. Here comes someone now. Miss, ma'am, did you just come from giving your offering? Why, yes, I did. I believe we found her. I gave away my beautiful home and all the property around it because God deserves my gratitude. Wow, everything she has, all the property she owns, she gave it all oh. to God. Oh, no, no kind sir. That was only my vacation home, but it is a beautiful place. I'm sure it is. Here we go again, we're still on the search folks but we will find this person that gave it all to God. Excuse me, ma'am, excuse me, we're filming here. If you could please go the other way, we're looking for someone with a lot of money, which obviously isn't you. Someone just gave all they had to the church. That's very cute. All right, folks, we're still in search of the person that gave it all. Hold on a minute. I'm getting something from the newsroom here in my earpiece. All right. Oh, it appears we have a description of the woman. That is going to be very helpful. All right. Older. Okay. Blue polka dot dress. Got it. Straw hat. Blue ribbon. Okay. Wooden cane are you sure oh boy all right folks it appears that jesus was talking about this dear sweet woman this beautiful fragile lady who gave all she had to the church ma'am why would you do that oh sonny god will take care of me i don't need to worry i trust him i don't just want to give him what i have I, give him, I want to give him everything he deserves. He'll take care of me. 
Wow. You heard it here, folks. There is all the story. It turns out that Jesus wasn't showing his disciples the person that gave the largest amount of money. He was teaching them the one who gives all they have, trusts God, and knows he will take care of them is truly a generous person. I'm Stan Gather, and this has been your breaking news. All right, hello, Tree Church kids. We are coming to you for, for the new memory verse for this month a little bit differently. We're doing it Zoom style. We thought it might be a little fun and different to do it this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to teach you the new verse. But the new verse is Ephesians 4, 3. That sounds familiar, right? Because we just did Ephesians 4, 2. So this is the very next part of that verse, which is so important that it all makes sense when you say it all together. So once you learn the new one, then you can go back and do Ephesians 4, 2 and hear how it all flows together. So what we're going to do is we're going to re review Ephesians 4, 2. And how we're going to do this is Miss Tiff is going to do the review. And then Miss Amelia is going to do the motions along with her. And you guys do the motions with them. So here we're going to do Ephesians 4, 2. Miss Tiff and Miss Amelia, are you guys ready? All yes. right, here we, here we go. Joel? Be proud at all. Be completely gentle. Be patient. Put up with one another in love. Ephesians 4, 2. Good. So if you're just learning this, at Ephesians 4, 2, the reference, we were pretending like we're fishing. So we're fishing, we're casting for Ephesians, and then we're reeling it in for 4. That's the chapter. And then the verse for that one was 2. You're showing the big fish you caught. So that's important because for this one, we're gonna do Ephesians, reel it in, four, and now we're gonna do three. So we're gonna pull up two fish. We caught two. So we're saying Ephesians, four, three. So this is three. And then when you say them together, you can say Ephesians, four, two, and three. All right. All right, so let's learn Ephesians, four, three. So we're gonna start like we're pinching salt. So if you're taking a pinch of salt out of a, a bowl, so you're, that's the word the. So the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. All right, ladies, do the Holy Spirit, Miss Tiff. The Holy Spirit. Miss Amelia. The Holy Spirit. All right, kids, so when I call their names and tell them to do something, I want you to do it with them. That way you're gonna do it with me, then you'll do it with Miss Tiff. Miss Tiff, go. The Holy Spirit. And then you'll do it with Miss Amelia. Miss Amelia, go. The Holy Spirit. Good. So there you've done it three times. That's going to help you learn. So do it with each one of us. All right. So we're going to do that again. The Holy Spirit. Then it's going to go into a fist. That's by your shoulder. Makes point you one. So this verse is saying you. It's talking to everybody. So the Holy Spirit makes everybody that knows Jesus one. That's what it means. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit makes you one. All right, ladies, just do the makes you one part. Kids, do it with me one more time and then Miss Tiff. Makes you one. All right, Miss Tiff, here you go. Makes you one. Good. Miss Amelia, here you go. Makes you one. One. Good. Now, I hope you're doing it with each one of us because that's going to make you do it over and over. And this is how we learn them, right? All right. So we just learned the Holy Spirit makes you one. Let's do that all together. The Holy Spirit makes you one. All right. Do it with Miss Tiff. Ready? Go. The Holy Spirit makes you one. Good. Miss Amelia, here we go. The Holy Spirit makes you one good all right so the next part is in every way so that's all one sentence the holy spirit makes you one in every way so in every way we're connected as christians the holy spirit makes you one in every way see how it flows all together all right the holy spirit i gotta figure out where to put my hand on the zoom picture here the holy spirit makes you one in every way. All right, you ready, Miss Tiff? All right, here we go. The Holy Spirit makes you one in every way. Good, all right, Miss Amelia, you ready? Here we go. Yep, the Holy Spirit makes you one in every way. 
good. I hope you're doing it with each of us. That'll do. Now let's let's all say it, and you guys do the the motions with me, ladies, all together. Here we go. The Holy Spirit makes you one in every way. All right, good. All right. So the next part is the word so, S-O. But what we do when we say so is we act like we're sewing with a needle and thread just because it sounds the same. So it reminds us to say the word so. So, so take your needle in your hand. Ladies, do this without saying anything. Needle in your hand. So, good. See how we're all sewing? So, so that's the next word. So after every way, so, now we're gonna put our hands out flat. Try your best. Like, work hard, try your best, come on. So, try your best. All right, I'm gonna do that one more time, do it with me, and then we'll do it with the ladies. So, try your best. All right, Miss Tiff, here we go. So, try your best. Good, Miss Amelia, here we go. So, try your best. Good, now I'll do it, and ladies, you do the motions with no words. All right, here we go. So, try your best. Kids, every time I do it, or any of us do it, you're doing it with us, so you or guys are gonna be doing it continually. That's the point, all right? All right, here we go, one more time. So, try your best. Good, now there's more to that sentence. So, try your best to remain as one. So, so. Try your best to remain. So this is like everybody coming together, all the people coming together. Try your best to remain, and then just one finger for the number one up by your face, okay? So try your best to remain. Just do that much. So try your best to remain. Good, ladies, do the motions with me, but no words. So try your best to remain. Good. All right. Now, Miss Tiff, kids, do it with her. Here we go. So, try your best to remain. Good. Miss Amelia, here we go. So, try your best to remain. And then we're just going to add the as one in there. So, try your best to remain as one. Again. So, try your best to remain as one. Good. All right. Miss Tiff, do that much. So, try your best to remain as one. Good, Miss Amelia. So, try your best to remain as one. Good, all together with me speaking. So, try your best to remain as one. Good, I know this seems long, but this is how we learn them, guys. All right, start over with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit makes you one in every way. So, try your best to remain as one. See, we've got a lot there when we put it all together. Good job. All right, let's do it again. The Holy Spirit makes you one in every way. So, try your best to remain as one. And when you do these verses, say them to yourself so that it makes sense. The Holy Spirit makes you one in every way. So, try your best to remain as one. When you, when you put it all together and say what it means, it helps you remember it easier, okay? Because we're slowing it down to get all, each word in, but when you, then all of a sudden you go, oh, that makes sense. All right, let's try the whole thing. The Holy Spirit makes you one in every way. So try your best to remain as one. Good, we're almost done. So after we say one, we're gonna pull our hand back and put it back up with the peace sign or with two. And what we're gonna say the word let. Because that some people see that when you do this, that means peace. So let peace. We're gonna make two peace signs. So we're gonna come from remain as one to, to the word let. Remain as one. Let, so it's a new sentence. Remain as one. Let peace. Now we're just gonna pull it into our chest and cross our hands over. Keep you together. I don't know if we did keep you as one and then together. I think we did. So the first one is keep you. So let peace keep you together. Yeah, that's right. All right, so let peace keep you together. Again, let peace keep you together. Again, let 
peace keep you together. Good. Miss Tiff alone and all the kids? Let peace keep you together. Again, Miss Tiff? Let peace keep you together. One more time, Miss Tiff. Let peace keep you together. All right, Miss Amelia, you're up. Let peace keep you together. Again? Let peace keep you together. One more time, Miss Amelia. Let peace keep you together. You're really fast, Miss Amelia. I just want to see that. Let peace keep you together. All right, good job. All right, so, no, we're not doing the word so. Let peace keep you together. So that's the end of it. Let peace keep you together. Then we go right into our, our fishing reference. Ephesians 4, but remember this is verse 3, so you get two fish up. Three! All right, do that. Ephesians 4, 3. All right, let's see the whole thing together. This time we're going to do it nonstop so we can see what it all looks like as one verse. Here we go. The Holy Spirit makes you one in every way. So try your best to remain as one. Let peace keep you together. Ephesians 4, 3. All right, good job. Do that over and over. Uh, Miss Tiff, why don't you do the whole thing completely through for us? We'll let Miss Amelia do the whole thing completely through for us. Do it with them. Look at them. They're nervous, but it's okay. We're just learning it, right? This is how it goes. And then we'll, we'll, we'll sign off. All right, kids, I want you to work on it. Ephesians 4, 3. We're proud of you. We miss you. And as soon as we, uh, we, we get things back under control, we hope to see you soon. All right. Go, Miss Amelia. Miss Tiff. I'm sorry. <laughs> The Holy Spirit makes you one in every way. So, remain. Try your best. Oh, sorry. So, try your best to remain as one. <laughs> Let. 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 What was it? Let. Peace. Peace. Keep us together. Keep you together. Keep you together. Oh man. Let peace keep you together. Ephesians 4 3. Yeah, it's hard when we do it after we've just learned, guys. So we do the same thing. This is how we learn them over and over. All right, Mr. Bay, you ready? Yeah. All right, do it. <laughs> the Holy Spirit makes you one in every way. So. Your best. Try your best to remain as one. Let peace keep you together. Ephesians 4, 3. Good job. All right, let's all do it together with me talking. Here we go. The Holy Spirit makes you one in every way. So try your best to remain as one. Let peace keep you together. Ephesians 4, 3. Kids, think about what this verse means. Get along with others. This, this is telling us to get along with each other. We're all in this together with Jesus at the front of us leading us. And so when we obey him and we follow him, we're going to be okay no matter how crazy it seems on the outside of that circle. When we all get along and stay, the people that are all following the Holy Spirit, we'll be okay. Scary sometimes, sad sometimes, all those things are real, but we always look right back at Jesus and it reminds us that we're all together in this big circle with him leading us through his Holy Spirit. Guys, I love you. Miss Tiff loves you. Miss Amelia loves you. We miss you guys so much. We can't wait to see you soon. Work on Ephesians 4 3. We love you guys. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. God bless you guys. We'll see you soon. See ya. Bye. All right, guys, it's game time. I have a quarter here, so I'm sure you can round up a quarter somewhere in your house, and we're gonna just play quarter balance. So you're gonna put a quarter on your nose and balance it there. So everybody does this at the same time. As your quarter drops off, you're out and see who can stay in the longest. And if it's kind of a tie, then take those two people and do another round and see who can keep the quarter on their nose the longest. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be silly, you're gonna laugh. You're gonna have a great time, but remember you have to say it to play it. So say the memory verse each person before they get ready to balance their quarter and then play and have fun. Guys, you're gonna love it. On your mark, get set, balance.
All right, guys, wasn't that a great lesson today? We learned a lot from that little old lady at that church who gave everything she had, didn't we? And that's the kind of hearts I want us to have. So keep remembering to not only with your money, but with everything in your life, be generous. That's what God calls you to. Let's pray. God, thank you so much that you are so, so, so generous with us. God, I would be nothing without the generosity that you've given me with your grace and with your love and with your blessings and with your gifts. God, thank you for that. God, I pray that these kids have a heart of generosity to give the things that you've given them and give through the gifts and the talents that you've given them to help bless others' lives. God, be with us as a church to be generous to the people around us, to our community, to those not even in our country. We love you so much, Father, and we ask you just to continue to guide us. We pray all this in your mighty and amazing name. And everybody says, amen. All right, guys, go out there, be generous with the people in your lives, and have a great week. Hugs and blessings.